so on the last episode of tournament the, the second one I've casted we saw an enthralling tale between Marinez who he, he gave a hell of a game I mean that game the tale of it was it had a beginning it, it had a, that, that was it really it had a beginning which was also the middle and the end so that game didn't really kick off but Marinez this time round as the allies on the north side might be able to have some redemption and Avengers terrible terrible play in the last oh god memories flashbacks so he's got a barracks out this time around which is very safe but he's bringing out a jeep which is I mean there's a 50% chance that you'll produce a jeep from the barracks at the start of the game he's going to produce two units from it, the rifleman and the jeep but at least he's putting some sort of condom on his play this time round that's a very safe bet the barracks will be good we have siberian on the south side this time is the wehee -he -he. he's already got his wehmacht quarters up he's going for the nice safe fuel point and then he'll probably charge out for that munitions point as well in the meantime it looks like he's going to be darting for this plus 16 fuel point on the left hand side now wehmacht play usually seems to favor the left hand side for some bizarre crazy reason they like this open ground Whereas I see it is pretty relatively easy to lock down the MGs, uh, lock down areas with MGs on this right hand side. But whatever floats your boat. Remember the victory points are on the right hand side as well. So that right hand side is considerably more important. We got an MG 42 as the first unit out here. And you can see the Jeep has not a single bother in the world because it can easily just flank right around the rear of this mg there's so much open ground so much room for activities and then a bike charges out here the motorcycle from siberian is the second unit is produced and now these units kind of work in unison the bike tends to like to push units riflemen out of the way as the mg suppresses them by setting up uh, wherever the bike is pushing them around it does chase off the jeep which goes back to love its engineers kissy kisses from the welding machine uh, the bike finds itself some engineers too hmm, that's gonna be delicious they seem to have mm. okay so marinez might have forgot about this unit i hope he's not gonna leave it there for too long though but they've managed to get back out of suppression interestingly enough uh, the rifleman squad though approaching from the front not the best idea with the MG, but it could have worked. It could have worked. Uh, the Jeep is also coming back as well. Uh, that's way, way too late, though. It seems like Marinez has already lost this frontier as well. So he's going to be charging off around here with his engineer squad. At least he has something which is capturing territory. Something is happening for Marinez, which isn't all bad. <gasps> that's good news. It's very good news. The MG. You can see Siberian. This... We saw him use this against Lolly in the last game. He was very aggressive with his MGs. He took every single opportunity to move forward. And uh, it seems like a slight alteration in his build. We've got the bike and the MG out first this time round. Uh, but it's seemingly going to be somewhat the same. Aggressive MG42 play. Get outside of his base. We'll need to be alert. Maybe some mines down there. From Siberian will be excellent just to stop Rifleman from easily getting around the side of the MG42s and flanking them. We got the Pioneers double repairing the bike. That is neat. That is very neat indeed. The Jeep from Marina is engaging from long range against the Volks. By the way, this Volk guy has an STG as his main weapon. Uh, he is the squad leader guy. Uh, just, just throwing it out there. It's, I always thought those guys when I was like in the middle of my time of playing comedy of heroes i always thought they all had the standard rifle the card 98 but no no they do not so that's some news out there for you we got bob y coming down here again we saw this a lot from siberian he is well on the game just like he was against lolly and it's seemingly looking like a similar game to lolly as well can marinas keep up with this at least he has territory on the right hand side he sent a few more units over there as well uh, so he is at least going to be prepared in some degree to keep up with the pace of siberia and if he does decide to go a krieg barracks i think marina should be able to bring out a motor pool just in time and uh, to deal i mean you don't really need a motor pool to deal with a krieg barracks but 
that's usually the level that you're at. Nice having uh, a Greyhound or your uh, other units you can produce anti-tank gun when you need it. Ah, but in any case, it seems like Siberian is now going to be charging over to the right-hand side of the map. And Marinez is going to be deadly threatened by this. He's going to have to do something to trigger uh, a, a victory. That's what he needs right now. He needs to win a battle. He's been charged so much on the left-hand side that he just has no territory there. He's got to win some battles on the right-hand side, and I think he is going to do it with this one. Flamethrower with the Rifleman, a great combination. Even the Jeep comes into this battle too. And Marinez is outside of the base. Siberian. So he's got something good going for him, at least. The poor fella. And he's also got the victory points too. Ew, we got a bunker down here from Siberia. Now, this looks like it's going to be an MG post. Judging from its position and its orientation, there's no need for that to be a medic station, but we could also convert it into a medic station and then shove an MG-42 inside of it. That's a perfectly reasonable response. Uh, the Jeep has gone inside of the base. It's looking for a building, I presume. Uh, it doesn't see anything, so he charges it back out. Uh, maybe he was trying to finish off that Pioneer squad. Doesn't look like it. They seem to be relatively okay. Creek Barracks is down here now. And Marinez is not going to have seen that. But surely we know the timing. And oh, look at the response here. It's like, oh, if you're going to do that, well, I'm going to do that too. Surely let's make this a symmetrical match. Hey, why not? And the bike, I believe, if it decides to charge out, it, it might get killed. It will get its engine damaged, and then it will get killed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice! Yeah, we got some pioneers in response to this to go repair them up. We have an observation post from Arenas. That's a very interesting decision, considering he's probably going to want the manpower for units. But if he can utilize the munitions, that's going to be great. Now, one way you can utilize that is by going infantry doctrine and getting the howitzer shot straight away. Now, the howitzer shot won't be too effective against the bunker, but it will do something at the very least. It's going to be very luck-based depending on whether it can hit it or not. But with the defensive strategy that Siberian is doing, his aggressive defense, so he's set up right here, he can plonk that down, a howitzer strike on an MG, and then use his rifleman squads to clean up. They'll be the janitors of the game. Not much action going on right now, though. The two players are eyeing each other up on the left-hand side and right-hand side of the map. They're just like, I'm over here, and I am over here. Yeah? Weapon support center down here. Ooh. We were building a supply yard, and then we decided to... Nah, we'll just go for the weapon support center. That's fine. He's got a Krieg barracks out. The most we're going to deal with is a half-track. We could see that out. It's not. That's a bike. But half track's not too much of a concern. You don't have to go for a motor pool for that. But it's an easy way to kill a half track. You can get your sticky grenades. That'll do it as well against the half track. But again, not a concern. Just completely ignore that unit. Heck, if he decides to reinforce on the battlefield, we can throw down a howitzer strike. If Marinez is going to go infantry, but we don't know that just yet. It seems like Siberian loves the idea of being suppressed, and we got barbed wire down here. And a mine. I think this is slightly obvious. Slightly obvious that he wants someone to drive into that mine, but... We'll see if Siberian falls for it or not. Uh, I'm assuming that there's going to be a sniper coming out from that weapon support center. Which might incur Siberian to go charge into the base to chase down the sniper at some point where his retreat path will hopefully be in this direction. Otherwise, it's kind of boned if it goes in that direction. And then again, Bob Wire's cutting off that area. The bike won't be able to pass. And then the bike will charge over the mine. And kablamo! It'll go. That'll be sweet. So we'll have to see if that works for him. Uh, it might not. MG... So keen to find some targets moving out of the base. Anuki, also very keen to see something happen. Marinez has the advantage here, by the way. He has the two victory points. They are ticking his opponent down. He won't be able to do much. And I have an itchy foot, by the way. Oh, yeah. If you were watching the last game, you was like, I said, what the hell is that? It was just this, by the way. 
Um, I saw the face of my hot water bottle and I was like, actually, I'm pretty damn cold. I'm gonna get myself a hot water bottle uh, in between the game. So that is what I was doing in the break. I know, I lead in a very adventurous life. Some things absolutely terrify me, including hot water bottles, faces, when they're just peering at you from outside of the desk. Uh, around the desk. So in any case, marinas. Such an amazing game right now. Ooh! I like this! I like this a lot! Even got the jeep with it! And now he's gonna be taking out the machine gun. So Siberian is going for an annihilation victory. And I see in the background we have a tank factory. Ooh! Do we have an observation post? We do. I was wondering how the hell would he get a tank factory unless there was an observation post at the moment. The timing to me felt ever so slightly wrong. Now, the Pack 38 will destroy this machine gun in less than 10 seconds. There we go. And what is Siberian going to do next? What is he? He's got his half track out so he can reinforce. He might charge in here with a bunch of guys. Maybe there's some Volks Grenadiers in there. Yes, there has to be some Volks Grenadiers in there. There could potentially be some flamethrowers as well. Flamethrowers can burn these buildings. They can just wait for all of the units to retreat back to headquarters. Oh, he could even place a mine on the retreat path. That would be most excellent. But we'll have to see. Someone's hammering. What are they hammering? I hear hammering. Oh, he's now taking out the barracks of the Pack 38. Repairs are going down, though. Can we out-repair them? Place bets now! This is the most engaging game that I have ever seen. My eyes are burning from all of the activity and physical particle effects which are occurring right now. Oh, he noticed that there was a mine there and he managed to sweep it! <laughs> oh, this is a bizarre game. Uh, what the hell is going on back there? I don't know. Someone is knocking on the wall. Maybe I'm being too loud. Maybe I'll have to whisper. Shh. All units. Light vehicles may very, very quiet. Of course. Here's that Pomozi Bozi again. This is some strange language that I am not familiar barracks. with. The barracks is down. It's gone. No more infantry. We've got a mortar from Siberia. And I saw that down here when it was produced. Now, I think that's pretty sweet for putting pressure on. Marinez's response, though, is to keep going with his tank factory. This tank factory is going to be his Lord Jesus Christ the Savior. And this is just deadly. The motorcycle in the base. How the hell does one counter one of these? Uh, in the meantime, I, I see Marinez is actually gearing up for a rear flank. He's also putting down a lot of mines here to secure himself and his position. We've got a sniper around here as well. Riflemen, they don't seem too well in the position. Like, that's not the great position you want your rifleman in if you're about to prepare for an assault with this Sherman. And a Sherman, I doubt it will, because the Pack 38 is just sitting outside of the base. And that can quite easily... It's just going to completely negate, negate the fact that that Sherman is even here. Unless it comes up on a flank. The hammering again! Stop the hammering! Jeez, someone must be having some rapid-fire sex next to me. But... Or maybe they're hammering a picture. What kind of picture could they be doing? Oh, we, we've, we're going to try and save the machine gun post. It's very important to Marinez. It was given to him by his father. Uh, it's not going to matter. I, I, uh, this... This right here... That... Just, just that there. That, what can I say to that? I don't know. And now Marinez is finally... He's just put on his balls, and he's now going to attack before... No, he's going to hit... Vasectomy again. Oh, oh, and the bike is going over the kill, and even the, the half-track. Does the half-track actually contain anything of value? I believe not. It's got ten units, but why aren't they hopping out? They could do. I suppose they don't want to actually expose themselves to all of this, which is actually reasonable. Uh, now we know that the Sherman is here as well, uh, which is good news for Siberian. Bad news for Marinez. Marinez, what are you gonna do? 
What the hell? And now we're even going to see these guys come around here and start capturing the victory points and all the other areas as well. They could really do with some minesweepers because there's bad stuff lurking around here. And he'll notice that there's observation points here too. And the Sherman is going down the middle of the road. We do have a mine here from Siberian. And guess who is going to hit it? No, no, he's not going to hit it. That's our mine there. He's going to deal with the Pioneer Squad. So... Sherman is like on protective duty and the minesweepers very good choice from Siberian there very good well done to him I feel very very patronizing at the moment I do not mean to be I just I just wish that there was some more action we have war machine raring to go now I can see what is about to happen from arenas and this could actually win him the game Pro trust me on this one it I'm lying. I'm really, I'm, I'm very lying out my teeth, but I'm trying to make this game more exciting. Come on, give me a break here. Ugh. The croc will pop in roughly 15 seconds time. The Sherman back here is just doing whatever it can. It's trying to hit the mortar, I believe. Uh, the Pack 38 is set up. Uh, there it is. It's actually in a weird direction. Uh, protected by the bunker. Now, some infantry could come around here. The sniper could reveal himself, but they're not going to... It's not urgent. It's not important. No reason to. We also got the bike there, which could reveal his location too. Lots of repairs going down at the Sherman. Good stuff. Now, if the Morden knew that, which I believe it probably does, given the location of that bunker, it will fire a shot here, and that will kill a lot of engineers. There we go. He got one. He got one, at least. Now the croc is out here. Allied war machine has got... Ooh, there are two packs here, by the way. Now there's only one because that one has been... Uh, dis... Decrewed. The... This is going to be refunded if it doesn't get destroyed. If it does get destroyed, it, it isn't getting destroyed. Oh, we were really, really reliant on these being destroyed. One got destroyed. One got destroyed. We, we should destroy this with the shield and... Quick. Quick! Let that Sherman destroy it! Oh, no, it's not going to happen. So, Marines, I believe, is not going through in this game. 17 minutes in the game, Marines has played the worst two games of his life. He will promptly be uninstalling Company of Heroes shortly after this game has ended. His sniper with a terrifying, fearsome one kill. Even with those amount of kills, he wasn't able to carry the game. Uh, and then, ooh, actually, there's some good stuff happening here, though. Lots of flame action, lots of lots of stuff being suppressed. <sighs> we can't hold it off for any longer, guys. Siberian, you, mine friend, or are going through. You've just got a Stuka. This is going to be the most closest range Stuka I, for one, have ever seen happen in a legitimate game between top tier players. These guys should be afraid. They should be very afraid. And look at the scatter. Hardly any there. The last two rockets, though, questionable. Marines, hard luck, buddy. Really, really hard luck. I'm just sorry that all the pack 38s have to happen. I'm sorry that this was... This was bad. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Anuki Tuturu. <laughs>